Hi, welcome to the how-to video series of Project Track for JIRA, a place to learn how to track projects more effectively and make your information more dynamic. In this video, we will show you how to make workflows validators interact with the values of your project information stored with Project Track for JIRA. Let's start from any given project. Click on the Project Settings in the bottom left icon, followed by clicking on the Workflow section. Once there, let's see how this workflow is currently set up. Let's click on it. Here we visualize the current way the workflows function for this project issues. Let's see how to add a validator that makes the workflow react to specific project value information. Click on the Edit button, then over the Create Issue Transition, and then in the dialog window on our right, let's click over Validators to add a new one. This action will take us to another screen. To the Workflow section in the JIRA Administration panel, a well-known screen to all those JIRA admins. Click over the Add Validators option in the table showing the current validators. This action will display a list of all the validators available for us in our JIRA instance. If we keep scrolling, we can see two validators corresponding to Project Track. One. A Project Track script validator will allow us to insert a file with the script or write the script directly in the corresponding field. 2. And a Project Track value validator, which is the option we are going to use. We select it, followed by clicking the Add button below. This action will follow a configuration screen where we're going to define which parameters will rule this validator, which in this case are to select which project field we want to validate it's going to be the status field. The operator corresponds to equal. In the last option, we get to select the value for this status, which for this example is on track. Then we add this configuration. What does this configuration we just made mean? It means it will only be possible to create issues when the project has the on track value on the project status field. After editing this workflow, which, by the way, has other native JIRA options already set up, we click over the Publish button at the top. Right after, we're asked if we want to save a backup copy. We choose No, because we're very sure of what we're doing, and then we actually proceed to publish it. Now let's get back to the previous window, where we had the workflow. And that way, we ensure this change is effective. We click over the Project Data tab option available in the left menu. There, we visualize the project has the off-track status value available, which according to this configuration won't allow us to create a new issue. Let's try it. If we create a new issue, we see an error message stating we cannot perform this action. Let's click Cancel. Let's try to create another issue, but this time let's change the project status to the on-track value. Let's try to create the issue again and there it is. We can do it. Project Track represents a solution that will make your issues and project information interact with each other to make your JIRA project information tracking experience more dynamic. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Hit the subscribe button and follow us on our social media channels.